Hello, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making a simple buttermilk pie. There are few things in life that are as simple and as good as this pie. My mother's coming for a visit and this happens to be one of her favorites. So I'm making this for you, mom. I cannot wait until you're here. Now I've already measured out two cups of sugar and that has gone into my bowl and to the sugar i'm adding three tablespoons of flour you know really it doesn't matter if you use all-purpose or self-rising either one is fine in this pie now i'm just going to whisk this together just to give it a little head start and next i'm adding one stick of salted butter. Now that equals out to a half of a cup and that's going in. One cup of whole buttermilk. If all you can find is the low-fat buttermilk then by all means use it but that whole buttermilk is better. Now to this I'm adding three eggs. a good healthy teaspoon of vanilla. I'm not opposed to adding more, maybe a teaspoon and a half. And last, I've got some nutmeg. Now I like to buy my nutmeg whole and grate it myself because it's just so much better. It's a small investment to buy the whole nutmegs, but I promise you they will last you for years and years and years. And with nutmeg, the older it gets, the more pungent it gets. Just keep it in a sealed container in your pantry and it will be just fine. Now I'm grating about a quarter of a teaspoon of this fresh nutmeg in my pie. Mm, that smells so good. Now I'm going to keep this close because I'm going to add a little bit more fresh nutmeg to the top of the pie. Now I'm going to mix this all together. I'm so excited about my mom coming. You know, she always made my favorite foods growing up and she still does. But there's something special when you become an adult and you can start making your parents' favorites. Mm. Now that's all stirred together and I just want to say it smells divine. <laughs> now let's talk about the pie crust. This is just one of those frozen pie crusts, you know, in these little tin foil pans that I seem to want to save forever. Does anybody else have that problem? I don't know. Maybe it's confession time. But I took it out of that tin foil pan while it was still frozen and I put it in my pie pan just for it to have that nice rustic look. My mother's favorite color is red, so I chose my red pie pan. And I just went around the sides with a fork and made the indentions. That way it has the look of being homemade. Now you can make your own pie crust or use whatever you like. They're all delicious, but I'm all about saving a little bit of time. Now, this buttermilk filling is going right into my crust. Now, this is a deep dish crust. This filling will make two pies if you use just the regular pie crust, the shallow ones. So, it'll make two of those pies, but only one deep dish. I like the deep dish. Mm. Yum. Look at that. Now, for just a little bit more nutmeg right on the top. Y'all, I didn't start liking buttermilk pie until I was an adult. I had a good friend that invited me over for dinner and she served buttermilk pie for dessert. And I did not want to be rude and say that um, I don't like the sound of that, buttermilk and pie. Buttermilk goes in biscuits, not in a pie but I tried it and it has been one of my favorites ever since. So I call this Charlotte's buttermilk pie because she introduced me to this. Now I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees and I'm going to set my timer for 10 minutes. 
Then I'm going to reduce my temperature to 350 and cook it another 45 to 50 minutes just until this pie is set. If you find that it starts becoming a little too brown and it's not set, feel free to just cover it with a little bit of tin foil or take some tin foil and put it around the edges. Just whatever you need to do. All right, this is going in the oven and I'll see you in a bit. Look at this beautiful pie. Y'all, I cannot wait to taste this. The top has almost like a creme brulee type feel to it. Oh my goodness, the texture and the taste of this pie is so amazing. Now I've let this cool for maybe 20 minutes or so. It really is better if you let it come to room temperature, but I cannot wait that long. And I also know that my mother would want me to taste this. Oh my goodness. I want all of this. Now, it's still warm. This is going to set up beautifully. Just give it some time. But, you know, I can't pass up an opportunity to have some warm buttermilk pie. Look at this. Oh. Mm. oh my goodness, y'all. Why on earth did I wait so long to fall in love with this pie? It's absolutely delicious. It's creamy, it's silky, tangy, sweet, buttery, it's all things in one easy pie. I hope that you'll try this recipe. Would you do me a favor and press that like button? Share this with your friends. You're a blessing to me and I hope I'm going to be a blessing to my mom. It'll be a while before she gets here. And I hope that this pie doesn't get eaten before she does. I'll see you next time. Bye.